you've told us that gold is going to 5,000. You've also told us that, quote, gold has only one direction to go, and that is higher. So why has it been one of the worst trades this year? Well, I never said it wouldn't be a bumpy road. You know, a lot of people don't understand uh, the fundamentals behind the gold market. They don't understand why it's been rallying for now, what, 13 years since this bull market began. And this is not the first correction. We've had many corrections, and a lot of people have been scared out of the market, but then the market goes on and makes new highs. I think there are more reasons than ever to buy gold. I think the fundamental case for gold is as strong as it's ever been. And I think despite this recent pullback, the technical case is good. In fact, now you have a better short-term opportunity in gold because I think you've got a good trade now just buying gold uh, because of this decline. Hey, Peter, it's Anthony in New York. If, um, if the U.S. stops or, or scales back the QE program, what's the catalyst that will take gold higher? Well, they're not going to scale back QE. If anything, they're going to increase the size of the QE. You know, the only thing that maintains the illusion of recovery is QE. If the Fed were to stop, we'd be right back in recession. Now, it should stop because, unfortunately, the economy is so badly damaged by all this cheap money that we need a recession to fix it. But the Federal Reserve doesn't care about that. All they want to do is try to ease the short-term pain. And so the only way they can do that is to print larger and larger quantities of money. So they're going to up the size of the QE. They're not going to pale it back, pare it back. They cannot exit. Uh, and so this is very good for gold. Uh, central banks are trying to debase their currencies. It's a currency war. And the only real winner in a currency war is gold.